Hi, my name is Rhonda Rucker, and today I will be presenting for you the presentation entitled, What is the Difference? Here in Chicago, we are experiencing the flu and cold season. It is November, just prior to Thanksgiving and the holidays. Let's first start talking about the definitions. What is COVID-19? What is the common cold? And what is the flu? and pneumonia. The COVID-19 is a disease that is caused by a virus called SARS. It can be contagious and spread very quickly. Over 1 million people have died from COVID-19 in the United States. The common cold is a mild infection. I want you to focus on the fact that it is a mild infection of the upper respiratory tract which includes your nose, your mouth, your throat. Colds are the most common of illnesses. Uh, adults usually get two to three colds per year. Children, more often. Uh, colds are more common in the winter and spring, but you can get them any time of the year. The flu is also called influenza, which is the name of the virus that causes the flu. It is an infection of the nose, the throat, and lungs, which are part of the respiratory system. The flu is caused by a virus, which I just said. Flu viruses are different from stomach viruses, which causes diarrhea and vomiting. Pneumonia is a lung inflammation caused by bacteria or virus in which the sacs filled with either fluid or pus, um, and it can be very serious, and you need antibiotics. Infection versus disease. You need to understand the difference between an infection and a disease. So an infection, the definition is an invasion by a microorganism or a pathogen is either bacterial or fungus, viral or fungus, fungal. A disease, however, is an abnormal state where there is a disruption of normal body function. Like if you have a, a pneumonia where the sacs are filled with fluid or pus, you're not getting any good gas exchange between oxygen and carbon dioxide. Uh, COVID-19 is a disease of the lungs. The disease, it, you can have a predisposition to a disease. It can be genetic, it can run in a family. Uh, who are at risk? Remember the immunocompromised, people who are on cancer, people who have a weak immune system. They are at high, high risk for getting colds, flu, pneumonia, or COVID-19. And that's why the recommendations are for to get the vaccinations. Uh, if you have co comorbidities, just mean um, you have a diagnosis of a chronic illness or a chronic disease such as hypertension, diabetes, congestive heart failure. One of the things that's important to do is to take care of yourself. On the chart, I would like to just bring your attention to the differences between the cold, the flu, pneumonia, and COVID-19. Infection versus disease. Uh, a cold, remember, is a mild infection. Flu is an infection caused by influenza. Pneumonia is a disease caused by bacteria or virus. COVID-19 is caused by a virus called SARS. Symptoms across the board can be cough, runny nose, chills, malaise, which is tiredness, fatigue, as well as um, as the more serious the cold gets, the more serious the symptoms. For example, you can have a cold and you can just be tired and just have a runny nose and just feel a little bit run down 
Whereas with the flu, you might have a fever, you are having cough, runny nose, you're feeling like you've been hit by a Mack truck. A pneumonia, you're feeling short of breath, you have a productive cough. And when the cough of sputum color changes from white, clear, to frothy, to green, to yellow, to green, that's indications that this is a little bit more serious than the cold, more serious than the flu, and you need to find a doctor to, and get medical attention. For COVID-19, the fever um, is always evident. You are short of breath. The other problem is you usually drop your oxygenation, which um, impairs or affects your heart as well as your lungs, as well as your stamina. Prevention, rest, drink lots of fluids to flush out if it's the bacteria or virus. Get the flu vaccine annually de-escalate symptoms early in terms of pneumonia. Before pneumonia can become a pneumonia, it usually starts with flu symptoms or cold symptoms. Um, for SARS, the, get the COVID vaccine and rest. Treatment, like again, drinking hot tea, rubbing Vicks on your, on your chest, on your neck, drinking soups, taking uh, over-the-counter medications like Tamiflu for, you can take that for colds or you can also take it for the flu. Uh, the major thing with the flu in terms of treatment is antiviral medications. Sometimes the doctor prescribes uh, drinking plenty of fluids, getting rest. I can't uh, stress that enough. For pneumonia, you need a doctor's attention and you need a doctor's order for antibiotic pills or IV. For COVID-19, there's remdesivir that can be given as well as other treatments, but you do need a doctor's order for those things. The function and purpose of the respiratory system is important to understand so that you are able to distinguish between if this is a mild flu or mild infection, or if it's something more serious. One of the things I do want to just stress, when if you're coughing and you have a productive cough, you need, and, and the sputum is changing colors, that's usually an indication that you do have a pretty serious pneumonia. What can I recommend to prevent infection? Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Yes, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. And the recommended amount of water that you should drink is one half your body weight in ounces. So for example, if you weigh 200 pounds, then you should be drinking about 100 ounces of water a day. And that can be a lot of water. It is about, this is a 16 ounce. 16 times two is 32, 32 goes into 100. So about six of these a day. I have been trying to do that over the past few weeks. And one of the things I have noticed about myself anyway, is that I need to wake up and start <laughs> the first thing in the morning with two bottles of water. Otherwise I simply don't make it to six bottles a day. Oral hygiene is important. Uh, poor hygiene is a breeding ground for bacterial growth. And once the bacteria enters the host, which is you, they just attack. Get vaccinated. If you have some, if you're in the high risk category, where the, whether you be very on the older side and higher, uh, and you have some comorbidities, get vaccinated. Uh, cover your mouth when you are coughing and sneezing. Wear a mask if you're in the public, if you are around a lot of people, a lot of crowds. 
and you're not sure and your immune system is a little bit weak, wear a mask. And that really concludes my presentation. Take care of yourself, even though it's the flu season, drink your fluids, drink lots of teas, soups, stay healthy. Have a great day.